Hey guys, so a couple of weeks ago, you would have seen me unboxing and giving my first impressions of the TechnoSpark 10 5G. So from then, it's been about a month now, and we're back with the full review of this device. And I must say, from then to now, not much has changed. It's still a budget level performer of a smartphone that hasn't disappointed. So this phone is built with the lower to mid market in mind and it was announced in March of 2023 and it became available in South Africa around the 7th of April of 2023. In terms of some of its main product features, it supports up to 14 different 5G bandwidth frequencies. So with so many frequencies, it actually allows this phone to spread into more markets and support more network operators. It has smart 5G 2.0, which allows it to save power for your internet connection by intelligently selecting between 4G and 5G, depending on your traffic and power consumption. And it can save up to 13% in battery life. There's also smart network allocation. So it decides when to switch between networks so that it reduces lag as well as increased downloading speeds. The third thing is link booming. So you have a smoother network experience because it boosts your cellular and Wi-Fi connectivity and drops latency by up to 60%. And I think all in all, it allows you to save power to spend more time on the internet. So in terms of its technical specifications, let's start with the body. So its dimensions is 16.4 centimeters by 7.5 centimeters by eight centimeters. The display is an IPS LCD display, which has a refresh rate of 90 Hertz. And it is a 6.6 .6 inch display that offers about a 84.3% screen to body ratio. The display has a resolution of 720 by 1612 pixels. And this phone weighs roughly about 202 grams. In terms of an operating system, it's running Android 13 high OS 12.6. In terms of its chipset, it's running a MediaTek Dimnesty 627 nanometer chipset. In terms of a CPU, it has an octa-core CPU running 2x2.2 gigahertz Cortex A76 and 6x2 gigahertz Cortex A55. The GPU is a Mali G57 MC2. In terms of storage, my particular model has 64 gigs of ROM and 8 gigs of RAM, which is 4 gigabytes, which is extended RAM. In terms of its battery capacity, the battery is a 5000 milliamp hour non-removable lithium ion battery. And this phone is supplied with an 18 watt wired charger. Now let's move on to one of the main things of this phone, the camera. So the main camera is a single 50 megapixel camera, which has an f-stop of f1.6, which is a wide lens, and it has a 0.08 auxiliary lens. It has a dual LED flash and is capable of recording video at up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. The selfie camera is a single wide camera, which is an 8 megapixel that has an f-stop of 2. Something cool with this is that it has a dual flash capability, meaning that it has a flash in the front and a flash in the back. These flashes can actually double as torches. So instead of having just a rear torch, you can have a rear and a front torch. And when I tried that during load shedding, that was absolutely trippy to have two torches shining at you. But let's not get too lost. After that, the phone has a side or power button mounted fingerprint scanner to lock and unlock your phone. So we've spoken about the camera and it wouldn't do justice for me to not do a full on camera test with this phone. So let's go and do that before we come back and continue with the review. Okay, so this is something shot with the, the Technopark 10. 50 megapixel camera. Right, so this is shot with the Technopop 10 5G. Unfortunately, the speaker I'm using is the DJI mic, or the, the microphone I'm using is the DJI mic. 
but I'm not gonna fix the audio out of the camera because I'm sure that's perfectly fine. And then if we take a photo from this, so it is still fairly bright. And one of the features of the TechnoSpark 10 5G camera is a night mode. So let's wait for the sun to go down a little bit and let's come back and let's test out that feature. So this is what it currently looks like with the TechnoSpark 10 5G, right, in video. Now, we're gonna take a regular photo. We're gonna show you that. All right, so the final thing I wanna show you is some photos taken out of my Lego DeLorean with the TechnoSpark 10 5G. Let's go. So that camera test was amazing. Now, let's move on to the intended market of this phone. The fact that this phone is a budget level phone, and when I say budget, this is budget budget. So it's not a cheapy phone that's going to give you a horrible experience. This is a cost effective phone that means this phone is virtually for anyone. And obviously it excludes the guys that are right at the top that are doing or power hungry phone users that are like taking phone calls and multitasking and preparing Excel spreadsheets and all of those things. Your regular phone user that wants to scroll on social media, take photos of family and events and whatever, it speaks to everyone. And the price point just solidifies who this phone is for. So speaking about price point, how much does this phone retail for? So this phone retails for anywhere between 4,000 and 5,000 Rand. At the moment of filming this, it was on special for 399. And a phone for 399, with this much of convenience, 50 megapixel camera, and the amount of power that's behind it so that you can scroll on TikTok, browse Facebook, take out photos, and not have the phone freeze on you and just, you know, give you a horrible experience. So I must say, if I needed to have another phone just to watch TikToks, I mean, I would go out and buy this phone just because it's easy, convenient, and cost-effective. All right, it's available in black, blue, and a white color. And there's a whole list of retailers you can find it from. Um, most of your major chain stores, Edgar's, Macro, the list goes on. So now it comes to us comparing the pros and the cons. So let's start with the pros. Firstly, cost effective. I mean, I can't say much about it being cost effective. The fact is it's cost effective. Second thing, tying into cost effectiveness is for 4,000 Rand, they give you a screen protector as well as a cover for the phone. And nowadays, finding phone brands to do that is very slim and far between. And it also saves you the time of going out to look for covers and all of those things. After that, we have to mention about power. So I've tested this phone out for a fair bit of time and I've never had any issue of the phone freezing, of the phone lagging or anything. But granted, I've taken it out of the box. I haven't filled up the storage or anything. But I'm 100% have had an awesome experience because I've seen it where you take a phone out of the box and immediately you have a bad experience because it doesn't perform as you need to. I sat on this phone 90% of the time besides taking out photos and testing it and everything. 90% of the time I spent with this phone was on TikTok. And even on my daily driver, the A7 2018, that thing freezes and battles with TikTok endlessly. This, no problems at all. The fourth pro I must say is it's ease of use because of the fact that it is Android based. And I mean, you get access to everything just like it were any other branded phone. So this may sound silly, but it's just, it's something that we are used to as individuals. And if we're looking for something cost effective, and if that means us changing what we know, just to try and fit our pocket, we already have that preception in our head and we might not have a good experience because, oh, I changed, how do I find my contacts? How do I do this? How do I do that? Just to save on cost. And it gives us that sort of regret. So those are the pros. In terms of the cons, honestly, there's nothing I could fault about this phone 
as it is. One month of using it. Again, I haven't filled up the storage with photos and videos and downloaded 1 million apps. It's still running fairly okay and I think I've only needed to charge this phone like about two times or three times in the, the month that I've had it. It hasn't become my full daily driver, but it has become a daily partner in my day where I just pick it up, play around with it, get a feel for using the apps and all of those things. Anyway, I'm, I'm trying to get to the con. There's not too much that I can find about or find to fault as a con. What I might suggest is bumping up the RAM, but again, it's a cost-effective phone. And I mean, for four grand without us having any problems, I shouldn't even be complaining either. But yeah, guys, um, that kind of brings us to the end of this video. And it begs the question, Prashan, what are we going to rate the Techno Spark 10 5G? So the Techno Spark 10 5G is gonna get a solid 8.9 out of 10 from us here at Tech Scene Zero. It has an absolutely amazing design. The fact that this comes with a screen protector, a case, the fact that this has a 50 megapixel camera built in. And I got some amazing shots from this phone when I was building my Lego and playing around with my Lego kit. I was using this to take some snaps and photos and, and video. And I must say that 50 megapixel camera came in clutch. So to start rounding up, again, this is a cost-effective phone and generally when we talk about cost-effectiveness we have to sacrifice something and I personally feel like there wasn't much sacrificed to get this phone at a cost-effective price point so I mean I stand to be corrected if this phone fills up with apps and their storage is less because again remember this is a 64 uh, gigabyte phone when the storage starts getting full the I refer to it as the hot swap memory. So the that memory where it exchanges ROM for RAM, that piece of memory might start slowing down the phone because I did see some comments when I was doing research on this phone that the best version of this is the 128 and 8 gigs of RAM. So this is a 64 with only 4 gigs of RAM. So you know, um, I don't know what holds in store for this actually being a daily driver and being like stuck on. But as it is, first impressions, the battery lasted forever and that is on top of me actually using TikTok almost every day with this phone. It lasted so long. So it's awesome, awesome phone for a budget user. And if you are thinking or looking for a phone under five grand, I would 100% suggest the Techno Spark 10 5G. But yeah, guys, in rounding up, I'd like to give a big shout out to Techno South Africa for sending this out for me to review, for me to unbox and to showcase something that is awesome and cost effective to you guys. If you do have any questions or do have any comments about the Techno Spark 10 5G, leave them in the comment section below. And you better make sure that if you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving a like rating if you did. If you aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Prashan and I'll catch you in the next video.